you've been crushing it all week long. It's been a pleasure to have you once again here on TC Live. What's been your best moment of the week? I tell you, we, the week of Vienna and Basel, you have so many great matches. Borna George is two back-to-back -back seven, six, and the thirds against two top ten players. It's probably some of the most exciting calls that I've had to do. But honestly, my favorite stuff is sitting right here with you. The TC oh. Live desk, being able to give a little bit of analyst work or – Hopefully just give a little bit more insight to the little bit of, of, of tennis knowledge I have and just try to share with everyone. To me, this is the most fun. I love sitting here with you. Love getting to talk with you. John, it's been great being able to work with you as well. So I'm just enjoying TC Live and enjoying this last segment. Love having you. John? Yeah, this is, uh, you, you would not know it if you were a casual viewer, but uh, the, that man on your left, he, he has a day job. He's only moonlighting as an outstanding commentator and analyst. I, I want to ask you a pretty serious question. I mean, how are you getting in your reps? How are you when you're not doing Polish pronunciations? <laughs> how are you getting the tennis workout in this week when you're working with us? So obviously we're having a lot of early start times broadcasting matches that are going on in Europe. The first day, I, honestly, I thought I'd be able to get my practice in afterwards. So on Monday, I said, you know what? I'll just go practice. I had organized a practice at UCLA with the men's associate head, Rickus de Villers. I said, hey, we'll do five o'clock. I quickly realized the schedule might not align every day. So we made the change and started going at 6 a.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just to try to get in my time. I wanted to make sure I wasn't, I didn't skip any steps. I still am a professional tennis player. I wanted to give myself the best preparation heading into these next three weeks. So practice in the morning, 6 a.m. to 7.30. Come here, work at TC, get to watch and observe and take notes on some of the best players in the world. Gym afterwards and later in the evening, and we've been able to try to make it work as much as possible. If you talk about two a days, Chris has been doing four a days because he's been calling matches, he's been doing TC Live, plus getting in the tennis and the workouts, but we'll just call Tennis Channel a little bit of extra film study. Uh, speaking of the work on the court, you return next week. You're going to be defending a title in Knoxville in a couple weeks. Tell us about your upcoming schedule. Yeah, so I'll be part of the USCA Australian Open Wildcard Challenge. I'll be doing three indoor challenges, first in Charlottesville, Virginia. The second one will be in Knoxville, where I am defending that title. Luckily, I was able to get a quick 80 on the board last year to kind of boost my ranking up, and then I'll finish the year in Champaign, Illinois, a tournament that I love, honestly, a tournament I've had my first bit of success in professional tennis with semiing it back when I was in college. So these are three events that I'm really looking forward to. I love being able to sit here and watch and take notes, like I say, on the best players in the world. Hopefully, I can incorporate these clean matches, these high winter counts and low unforced errors, big targets, a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about. Hopefully I can put it to good use this week. I, I'm, I'm sure you're going to. And as you know, players that come in and, and, and moonlight as commentators here, they normally go off and then win big things. Taylor Townsend, she's already won some events, got to a final of a major in doubles. She's playing for a title today in uh, Waco, Texas. Absolutely love to see Taylor doing well. As a new mom coming back on tour, and she's been absolutely crushing it, crushing it in Tennis Channel, crushing it yes. <laughs> on the court. She's been doing a great job. So if I can follow in her footsteps, uh, I think I'll be sitting pretty by the end of the year. All right, coming up top of the hour, Taylor Townsend in a final in Waco. Wish you the best.